Bah. No Muse news. Oh, say that five times fast. That's catchy. Let's see what I want to wear. Stop. Alright, time for bed. Hey! No. Alright, time to record some thoughts on this album. Hey! No! Alright, you got me. I realized I couldn't go without talking about Muse. So, I just wanted to give some quick thoughts before we get into the album itself, what I'm hoping for, what I'm expecting, and some of like the album news that's come out. First, to start with the cover art, I absolutely love it. I was like a little bit confused when it first came out. I was like, what are they going for here? What is the exact style? But once they released that like Twitter video that kind of like explained what was going on and kind of like showed the backstory of the album cover, I really bought into it. I was totally invested. And oh my God, that chanting of one of the people was so catchy. There was some interesting mashup that I found on YouTube. It was like, I'll, maybe I'll link it here, but it was like a mashup of like unsustainable live riffs with Will of the People and it kind of seemed to line up. So that might mean something. It kind of sounded psycho-ish, uh, maybe a little bit thicker, a little bit juicier. And you all know I'm a casual psycho enjoyer. So I'm down for psycho too. As long as it's, I hope it's a little bigger, you know? So as for the songs we do have, which are Won't Stand Down and Compliance. One Stand Down continues to be a top tier Muse song for me. I listen to that song on repeat. Uh, still to this day, I love the drumming, especially in the chorus. I think it really stands out and it makes the song unique. The music video though is actually the sleeper hit for me where if I knew that that was a mask beforehand, the video would have made a lot more sense. It has grown to be probably my favorite Muse music video of all time. Great stuff, love the aesthetic. Good job Muse, 10 out of 10. Wood music video again. It was weird to see how many people replied with like negative comments to my reaction on that one though. Some of them I deleted, but like people were just very upset. It was kind of weird to me because it sounded to me like in that song, it was just everything we've been asking for. And I understand some people might have just not liked the song or not bought into it, but people were really, really angry about the song. I mean, this is a different era. I, I feel like this sounds like the exact evolution I would have expected from Muse if I heard them in 2000 and I thought of their music being teleported to 2020 that's basically what I would think of so I mean I'm just I'm absolutely thrilled with Won't Stand Down. Also keep in mind this is like a lead single so when we think back to the last couple album cycles like what were the lead singles I'm not sure for the second law but I think it may have been Madness then we had either Psycho or Dead Inside and then after that we had Dig Down like which one are created an album cycle that you are more looking forward to as a old school Muse fan? To me, I think the answer is pretty obvious. That has to be this one, right? Now the other song we have is Compliance. And on this one, I'm gonna be honest, it hasn't aged as well for me. I don't really go back to it. I don't really have anything about the song that I can say I really dislike. Um, it's just not one that has gripped me and not one that I'm as excited to return to. That might change when the album comes out. We'll have to see what happens. It's a good, clean, accessible pop song, but it's not really where I'm at right now sonically with my music enjoyment and taste. I would probably give Won't Stand Down a 10, and I would probably give Compliance around a seven. If I'm being honest, I've been into the wacky Muse stuff, and when I say wacky, I mean wacky, okay? I'm talking recess, okay? I'm talking all the hullabaloo nonsense. And that might be good news for me because if you take a look at this track listing, I've only taken a cursory glance, okay? We're gonna actually like react to it together because I haven't like fully delved into it. I, I glanced at it and I saw some wacky stuff. This is gonna get into what I'm hoping for and looking for on the album. I'm hoping for stuff that goes different and weird and tries something strange. I feel like the last couple albums, although great albums, kind of lacked in this category. There are some notable exceptions, and some of these aren't even my favorite songs, but I like when they experiment. So for example, Break It To Me, Propaganda, The Globalist, songs that really just break the mold in a way. I think the word I'm looking for here is angst. I'm looking for something that has that very strange, um, tumultuous, existential angst. That spark is what really drew me to the band in the first place. 
along with the classical influences as well. I think Matt was quoted saying that this album is essentially going to be a sort of greatest hits of Muse stuff. So you might get like a poppy song, compliance. You might get like a crazy alt-rock song with a breakdown in Won't Stand Down. But he also said there's like some crazy prog nightmare. There's an electronica song. There's an Adele-like pop song. And Matt genuinely thinks this is the best thing they've created. Now, some people might not like that because they like a little more of an album experience, more consistency in the listen. Personally, I don't mind. I'm not really an album enjoyer. I would rather take 10 amazing songs individually that don't fit together perfectly over 10 songs that fit together perfectly thematically and tell a good story, but are kind of forgettable or not as interesting songs themselves. Now, it would be cool if you could get both, but if I had to pick one, I would rather have more amazing songs. And that lends itself better to the live setting as well, which Muse is known for. I also believe it was a producer on the album or somebody who did mastering or something tweeted something along the lines of the album gets way heavier than Won't Stand Down. And that's obviously a huge plus sign in my book for the goals that I have for the album. Again, something weird, something crazy, something different, unique, fun. Another thing to know is that Dom actually took initiative for a lot of the decisions made on the album. Matt jokingly said that this is why the album has been delayed because Dom was taking forever to make choices. So it's gonna be interesting because I think we really are gonna get a different flair in this album than another. And you can see the drum led presence in Won't Stand Down, for example. So we might see more of that, something a la Assassins or Won't Stand Down. Chris is remote on this album cycle. Uh, you can see videos of him playing bass not with the band. I believe he's still in Britain and the rest of the band is in America. Not really sure on the details, but people were saying that this is why like the bass is in his present and won't stand down. I don't think this is necessarily true. I think there might be a slight detriment to the, their ability to creatively cooperate when you don't have the live feedback, but we do have the internet now, so they can actually be on calls and play together and stuff. Um, and I think they're Plenty of deliberation. I'm not too worried about the bass department at all. We got some great stuff in compliance. Amazing baseline, one of the best ones they've come out with in years. So not too worried there either. All right, so let's get a sort of live reaction to these, to this track listing. Okay, so the first one, Will of the People, number two, Compliance. Uh, I think this is interesting because they have like one that's probably a heavier rock song right next to the poppiest song that I think they've, maybe ever done, I don't, it's hard to tell. I guess that's trying to give people a quick taste of the duality of the album. Uh, Liberation, okay, that's pretty. By the way, Will of the People as a title, very Muse title. Uh, Resistance, Will of the People, I mean, they just, they fall right in line, huh? Okay, then Won't Stand Down, pretty obvious. Ghosts, How Can I Move On? I'm guessing that that is going to be the piano ballad song. That sounds like an Adele title. <laughs> You make me feel like it's Halloween. This, okay, this is what I, you're giving me hullabaloo vibes here. I hope this one channels that that weird energy that I'm personally looking for. Kill or be killed. Okay, that's gotta be that's gotta be the prog nightmare. You know, this is really funny because we have ghosts, which I'm expecting is that Adele ballad right next to you make me feel like it's Halloween, which I'm hoping is like recess mixed with dark shines and screenager. And then we have kill or be killed, which is gonna be like, maybe just like a straight up metal prog nightmare. Okay, Verona, I have no idea what that, what to do with that. Or euphoria, I really don't know what to do with that. I'm guessing one of those is going to be an electronica thing because he said that there was electronica on the album. That would probably fit. Liberation is the one I also have no idea on. Future Dakota talking here. I swear to God, they censored this on my laptop for some reason, these weenies. So I couldn't see the last track in this listing, which is we are bleeping bleeped. One of the ones I saw when I first looked at this and then I didn't see it there. So I was just like, oh, I guess this, I must have seen something wrong. That was the one other than the Halloween one that really made me the most excited for how crazy and wacky this is going to be because that reminds me of the um, the hidden track on Starlight's single. Yeah, uh, expecting something wacky, crazy and silly with that one too. So very, very much a, a, a gold gem. Yes. See, I've never looked at a track listing and been like, Hmm, yes, that's probably gonna be good based on the track listing.
but knowing Muse with a title like you make me feel like it's Halloween or Killer Be Killed. But I will say there have been times, and I can't think of an example right now, but there have been times when I'm like, oh my god, this song by Muse is going to be insane. Look at this title, it's nuts. And then it's like a poppier song. So who, who knows? We'll never know. What goes on in the mind of that little Matt man? Now, to be fair, weird is going to be polarizing, and I, I understand that. A lot of people are going to hate some stuff. I might not even like some of the weird stuff, but I'd rather have some experimentation and a muse ambitious enough to evoke negative emotions rather than a muse that evokes no emotion. So I guess those are all my quick thoughts on the album. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm really looking forward to this. I don't even know the release date. I've tried to stay really far away from promo materials for stuff that I already know I'm going to consume. <sighs> like, sure, I'm hyped, but I want to have the experience when I first do listen to it. I want that to be the most interesting possible. Now, if they do release like a clip of a song, I might react to that. But let me know you guys' thoughts down below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think and uh, what you're looking for. How about in the comments you leave me what you are hoping for on this album. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.